The old build in your first Game Boy Macro, you've taken the DS board out of the DS shell and now you've come to the last bit, fitting this annoying resistor that's so small, you either drop it, it pings off, or it just completely disappears. No matter what you do, you cannot get this resistor on. There must be a better way, and there is. There is a nice flex PCB made by Helder's Game Tech that will do this for you, which is a lot easier to solder on, not to mention it also comes with an amp included. Let's show you how you can install this. I'm actually going to install this on my Game Boy Macro that I've done before with the boxy pixel shell. If you want to see that video, up in the top right now will be a iCard for it. So let's get to converting this from a resistor to the flex PCB. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery cover, remove the battery, and then unscrew all the screws from the back of the shell. With all the screws removed, I can remove the rear half of the shell, being careful to move the left and right triggers, making sure the springs don't ping anywhere, and then removing the Phillips screw holding the board down. I can now remove the DS board from the shell, and we can put the shell to one side. Turning the board over, I'll need to disconnect the screen. To do this, I'll have to lift up the lock-in mechanism of the connector, then I can pull the cable out. I'm going to have to remove the speaker I installed previously, so I'm going to grab my soldering iron and quickly remove that. When I first converted this, I had to fit a resistor, so I'm going to have to remove that now. I'm going for a lazy approach here, and I'm going to make a solder bridge across both points of the resistor, therefore heating up both sides so that I can remove it. Grabbing some IPA and a brush, I'm going to quickly clean this area to remove any flux residue. And now we can get the flex PCB and line it up. As you can see, there's multiple points that needs to be lined up to. So while I'm holding it, I'm going to tack in one of these points so that it's held in place and I don't have to hold it myself. We can touch this joint up later. And I'm also going to tack in another joint on the other side. And there we go, it'll be held into place, so now we can solder this all properly. If you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. Now that the Flex PCB is installed, let's connect up the speaker to the two speaker points. So first I'm going to tin these points. Then I'm going to grab the speaker I used, connecting up the black wire to the negative pad and the red wire to the positive pad. And this is what it should look like, and I must admit I do like the look of adding this ribbon cable. It looks a lot more professional than a single resistor, and this is also an amp. Let's connect back up the screen and go to put it back into its boxy pixel shell. To grab in this shell, I don't have to put any of the buttons or rubbers in because I've kept them in from before. So let's just grab the DS board, making sure to put the speaker in first, burying the speaker cables, slotting in the screen, and then putting the board in. Then secure it down with one Phillips screw. Connecting back up the left and right triggers and putting on the rear half of the shell with all the screws, the battery and the battery cover. And that is it, already installed, it was very quick, a lot easier than just doing the resistor. For me the resistor is not too much of an issue but for a lot of people it can be. But let's do it before and after regarding the amp itself. This is full volume before installing the amp. This is full volume after installing the amp. This is half volume before installing the amp. This is half volume after installing the amp. This 
This is a very nice solution if you want to make a Game Boy Macro and have an app installed, it makes it all nice and neat. However, for me, I'm not a big fan of the app. I think it's a bit too loud, especially at full volume. But if you struggle with attaching the resistor for your Game Boy Macro, this is definitely a good alternative to it. Perhaps one day there could be a little board just for that resistor to make it easier to solder. 